we're going to have a look at some new audio features in 2009.1. As you can see at the moment, the audio clips uh, look the way that you have become accustomed. We've added a little button over here called Enable Audio Waveforms. If I turn that on, you'll now see that we actually display the audio waveforms on the audio clips. So I've got four channels on my top clip and two channels on the bottom clip. Over here, I also have the ability to display the audio waveform in the viewer. This is really handy for syncing clips up. As you can see when I scrub, I actually view the audio waveform in the viewer, making it easier to find sync points, find pips. Now the viewer respects the state of the mute button on the audio track, so if I go and mute that track, you'll see that I'm now looking at the audio waveform on audio 2. One of the other important enhancements in 2009.1 is the ability to route the audio. I'm going to enable audio track 1. Now audio routing happens on two levels. We can route individual audio clips and we can also route composition audio. It's important to remember that what you do to the clip will reflect in the composition. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select my four channel clip and go to properties and in the bottom left you'll see I have a routing or a patching matrix and that will allow me to map channel 1 of this clip to channel 1 out, channel 2 out, channel 3 out and channel 4 out. In this way if I need to hear what's on channel 3 and 4 I can very easily map 3 and 4 to 1 and 2 or can map only channel 3 or only channel 1 or only channel 2 or even mute particular channels. So if you have commentary on 1 and 2 and uh, you don't want to hear the commentary, you only want to hear the music or you don't want to hear the music and you only want to hear the commentary. So I'm going to close that down and I'm going to have a look at composition audio. Now, composition audio will affect what goes down to tape. So we have the same patching layout but we have the addition of A1 as well as A2 over here. Now this is because we have got two audio tracks. So currently audio 1 will go to channel 1, audio Audio 1 channel 2 will go to channel 2 off the deck. Audio 1 channel 3 will go to channel 3. And 4 will go to channel 4. Audio 2 channel 1 is going to map to channel output 5 on the deck. And audio 2 channel 2 is going to map to channel 6. And that is the way that it will actually go down to tape. We hope you find the new audio tools useful and enjoy 2009.1.